Well, because I'm always like... Happy 2021, everybody. Woo! And, as we promised, we promised a Disney movie, a Tom Green movie, and a movie that will explain what's in here, people. With... <laughs> so let's start with what I'm hoping... I would say what I'm hoping is the bad one, but yeah, we're per I'm pretty sure what's in here is going to be the bad one. I shouldn't go in with those expectations, but I don't like that person. So anyway, let's talk about Elliot Gould's The Last Flight of Noah's Ark. Yep. Little bit of an oxy, little bit of a misleading title. But it all makes sense when it you get into the movie. Well, is it really The Last Flight, and is it really Noah's Ark? Technically, yeah. At the same time? Yep, sort of. Yep. Nope. <laughs> so anyway, what I thought this was going to be was, this was going to be like a version of Noah's Ark, but it was going to be updated. You know, kind of like uh, Noah, or Evan Almighty, or the other Noah. Well, these were made before. Evan Almighty in that, so... I know, I'm just saying it was going to be an updated version of the Noah's Ark story. Mm. Yeah, I'd say maybe Evan Almighty is a little more creative than this. Okay. What it is, is... Oh, I have I had no idea. This guy, the guy's name was Noah. Anyway, Elliot Gould... <clears throat> is some guy who's not a huge fan of animals, and he's been given this plane that has clearly seen better days. But you have to give the background. He's also a pilot, and he needs money, because he owes money. There's a Jurassic Park 3 joke somewhere in there. Mm. Anyway. I don't know. So he's and looking for a job because he needs money, and he needs it quick. So him and this girl, this friend, this... Canadian French girl. Mm -hmm. They she's, don't even say her name in the back. She's going on a mission. Let's call her uh, Fifi. No. Yeah. <laughs> Fifi was the oh. was the French poodle in uh, the Peanuts movie. So let's call her okay. Fifi. Okay, whatever. What would you rather call her, Angela? No, Dominique or something more flattering. Justine than... Trudeau. Fifi. Fifi. We're call, we'll call her Fifi. Sorry. Sorry, anyway, actress. So her mom died. A little background about her. Her mom died when she was younger. So she helped raise her siblings. And then when they all moved out to go to college and live their own life, then she then got into doing mission trips. Um, she knows how to farm, take care of the animals and all of that. So this whole thing was um, this airplane owner, whatever, field pilot, whatever. He owns this plane and promised to get this lady to this island where she was going to help the natives farm and raise these animals. So the kids from the orphanage had actually raised the animals, and they were saying goodbye to them. So it was kind of a tearjerker. Yeah, there were even parts where I was like, are you crying during this? No, my sinuses. <laughs> so anyway, what I remember is I did see this movie, but I did kind of fade away later. This was my Bill and Ted's bogus journey, I guess. Okay, maybe. Remember? Maybe. Whatever. Come on. So anyway, uh, we find out that he doesn't like animals. Like, <laughs> there's a, there's, there's like a, big, there's a cow or something. And he says, like. Excuse me a moment. I'll be right back. Keep going. There's something purple that might help you. So anyway, um. He's like, Ugh, one more thing, one more time, and I'm going to make steaks out of you. Meanwhile, there is this extremely annoying kid. There is this kid who... I'm not as t 
terrible as Molly Ringwald was in Space Hunters? Because that has always been my level of the most annoying kid character mm -hmm. I've seen. But man, this kid was super annoying. Oh, well. Say stuff. <laughs> the kid was super annoying, like not listening, said like, Man, my dad is so much cooler than you. My dad is so much stronger than you. Aren't you adopted? Yeah, but my kid, my dad was so much cooler than you. My dad is so much smarter than you. My dad is so much hunkier than you. My dad started better Oscar movies than you did. Are you done? <laughs> my father won more oh, presidential elections than you did. Stop. My father took over okay. more countries than he you did. He wants to do this by himself. So. Okay, okay. So, anyway, he and the keep going. he and the girl are or he and Fifi are flying to somewhere, some island. However, the kids stow away. Yep. Even though they were told not to, but you know, the kid's, a, the kid's a jerk, so he does whatever he wants, like I said. Well, he wanted to take care of his cow. He wanted to take care of the animals because he He thought loved the pilot the... was not going to take care of them. He probably wasn't. But see, He was just going to take them and drop them you, off. Like what he, Elliot Gould said in the beginning is you can't trust what animals will do when they get up in the sky and they're mm -hmm. flying. So anyway, they find out that the they find out that the kids are now on the plane even after someone tried to stop someone tried to stop the takeoff plane from taking off. And they're like, "Oh, they're waving goodbye to us." <laughs> no, no, I was talking about the car that parked that was directly in front of. Oh, okay. Oh, those the Yeah, not the one on the side. The, the guys one, that he yeah. owed money to. Um, I but thought you then, were talking about the lady from the orphanage. Not the one on the side, okay, the one directly whatever. in front of. Yep. Then uh, they realize, in addition to the kids being there, that because of her cassette player. Mm -hmm. Or CD player or something. Yeah, I'm, I... Sure, let's... iPod. She was looking at her iPod. <laughs> Um, it's a joke. Uh, they then realized that they were kind of going... The wrong way. They were going north when they should have gone south or something? Or south when they should have gone... They should have been going west and they went south. No, then they went east. They went the other way, didn't they? Well, if they would have gone east, they would have gone back home. They were supposed to get to Honolulu. They were supposed to get to Hawaii and refuel. So they end up kind of crashing lost. onto an island. Yep, they were lost and crashing onto an island. Um, complete with uh, a millionaire and his wife. Oh, come on. Um, a professor. Forget it. <laughs> there were two people that were on the island. Gilligan, were... Skipper. Okay, I'm three I'm leaving. I thought there were three people. No, there were two. Okay. Want me to leave? Um... <laughs> This might get this might get mildly inappropriate if you decide to watch it nowadays. Um, would you agree that it might be a little inappropriate? Some people might take offense to it. Well, just like our previous review of of the Star Wars Holiday Special, this has a lot of people talking in a foreign language. Two. Zero subtitles. You could just do zero. Goose egg. No, that, yeah, that's a big egg. So, and but I... But the one guy, Cleveland, did speak English, so he was the interpreter. After a while. He was the interpreter. Um, They were scared that this plane that crashed there were going to kill them. They thought the war was still going World on. World War Two. They thought the war was still going on. Um, they were Japanese. Yeah, Which they didn't really sound Japanese to me. But they also didn't look Japanese. But anyway, 
They looked... I don't know. You know, I'd better... May, it'd be better if I not continue that sentence. Next page. Um, Elliot Gould is like... Um, trying to protect them. Trying to protect them using his gun and using knives. He didn't have a gun. He had a flare gun. Okay. And the kid... Meanwhile, the kid is like, Where are the animals? Where are the animals? It's like, Ugh. You know, you better just talk about... You better just talk about the rest of the movie, because just thinking about it is making me annoyed at that kid. Okay. So, they decide... Um, Guinevere, or whatever Fifi you're calling Fee her. She, she took Genevieve? charge... Genevieve? She took charge and said that's that, the character's name, or that's the actress's name, Genevieve. Okay, so she takes charge and she said, "Okay, we have to set up camp. We have to make you know stalls for the animals, fences, so we can get them off the plane. They need to stretch. They need to eat. Blah 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 blah." So and she's like, "Are you just gonna stand there? We need to get going." And then they get a lot of stuff set up, and um, they need fresh water. So they were going to get water, and the kids were supposed to stay put. And then the of cow. Of course, they didn't. The cow got out, so they started chasing the cow. And then they saw this like um, mini war camp type thing. Um, so then they found Elliot and Fifi to show them what they had found. And so he's like, "Yeah, we better get out of here. We better not." be with them they still think the war is on going on you said that already and fifi is like well we should make friends with them and she's like we should tell them the war is over and everything so they were taking watch elliot took first watch to keep them safe and then she took the second watch when he but woke then she up, just but then she walked away and yep when he woke up um she wasn't there and she was actually trying their food and talking to them well, he didn't know what was going on. He found her, and then he barged in, fell on the table and everything, um, thinking that they were um, torturing her and everything else. And then everything started working out. They wanted to get off the island, so one of the um, soldiers was suggests actually an engineer. Making, suggests making the... Uh, airplane, airplane into, into a, a ship. A boat, yeah. Or into a boat, yeah. Yeah. Um, he didn't think it was going to work and everything. The and... boat... Now, here's why it's called... Here's why it's called Noah's Ark. Well, the last flight... Because... Is the airplane hauling the animals. And now... No, no. Now go no, ahead. No, that's not the reason. That's the last flight. The, the plane, last flight of that plane because of the crashed. plane after it got turned into a boat, Fifi spray paints Noah's Ark. She didn't spray paint. She painted. Yep, she used finger. Yep. Mm -hmm. No, there was like a stencil thing. Hmm. Oh, there okay. was. Okay, I don't remember that. So that's why it's called Noah's Ark. So... A little bit misleading. Um, of course, the two the two go with them, and we're not going to spoil anything else about this movie. Hmm. We're not going to spoil anything else wow. about this movie. Okay, it gets interesting. Uh, not even about the ducks and the eggs and everything. No. Okay. It's chickens. So anyway, um. There are some good old <laughs> funny. There are some funny old Disney movies like Gus, which I've mentioned several times. But then there are others like Monkeys Go Home and The Last Flight of Noah's Ark. This is going to be one of those where I'm probably going to forget it in a few days. I st I'm st I started to forget it, and we're reviewing this movie two days after we've seen it. Um, I think this might be worse than Monkeys Go Home because that didn't have an annoying character. This did. Well, he did play the character 
good the though. kid yeah he played them spot on how they wanted him to so that's not that's not good to have an annoying character well <laughs> annoying brat what i can say that okay whatever this is a pg-13 just, just channel give your review Okay. My opinion on the movie, if you have Disney Plus, it might be on there. Probably, it might not because there's a lot of there's a lot of cigar smoking, so I don't know if it will be on Disney Plus. You might have to Hulu it or something. Yep. Um. I don't think it was the worst movie. It was kind of boring. It had its parts. Yes, the little boy was annoying. The girl tried to keep him in check. Yeah. The, Elliot Gould came around. He became less annoying. The movie is 98 minutes. I'm pretty sure you... I don't know. You could maybe trim 10 minutes, maybe, and maybe get a little bit of funnier dialogue, because I understand that comedy doesn't age very well, but it didn't feel like there was even... It didn't even feel like there were jokes in this movie, or it didn't seem like there were supposed to be jokes. I don't understand how, if this was supposed to be a comedy, um, <laughs> those punch-up writers, those punch-up writers got an easy paycheck, okay. but, uh, no, I personally didn't find this very funny, um, I found the kid character annoying, if I want to watch a movie with, um, a bunch of animals and an arc, I'll watch... Evan Almighty, I guess, okay. or, uh, <sighs> or Noah with Tony Danza. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I don't really remember. And there's, one. I think there was another Noah movie. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, tune in next time where we get to do the Tom Green movie. Bye. Bye-bye.